Welcome, shall we observe the sun? Starting off today with the solar flare classification chart, showing two M-class flares, one on the 14th, and the other on the 15th. Shown on this CME chart, are three CME that occurred, 15th through the 16th. On the 15th there was a Type 4, potential full halo CME, with an angular width of 270 degrees. When a halo is observed, that means it is Earth-directed. A halo CME occurs when the emitted gas is directed along the line of sight towards the observer. In this case, the SOHO satellite. Here is the eruption on the 15th, as seen on the LASCOC2 filter. Now observed on the C2, and C3 filters. I'll move back for a better perspective on this CME as it expands outward. On this CME model is the path of an eruption from the 15th, it may be updated later to show a different path, as a halo CME is always Earth-bound. But, the CME chart, did say it was a potential halo CME. This model shows the pressure on the magnetosphere today, which is considerably low at this time. Up next is the aurora forecast for the 15th through 16th. The brightness and location of the aurora is typically shown as a green oval centered on Earth's magnetic pole. The green ovals turn red when the aurora is forecasted to be more intense. This model, shows the intensity forecast of the density, and velocity, of the solar wind for the upcoming days. The circle on the left is a top view of the Sun, also shown are the stereo ahead and stereo behind satellites each side of the Earth, and the sector on the right, shows the Earth from the side view. There are seven sunspot regions on the Earth facing side of the Sun. Also, a view of the coronal holes on the Earth facing side of the Sun today. Here they are seen on the SDO211 filter. For the moon gazes, there will be a full moon tonight. Illumination 100%. The position of the planets, seen from Earth this morning. Here is a magnified view. This is the position of planets in our solar system today. And as always, sit back, relax, and let me keep my eye on the sun for you.